What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial. In today's video is the continuation of another video where I talked about how to build a serverless API using a Lambda function, API Gateway, and the DynamoDB. I'll include a link down below to that video so you can check that out if you're interested. And today I'm going to talk about how to secure or restrict access to your API. So there are many ways you can do that. And the method I'm going to talk about today is to use an API key. I like this method the most because I can categorize my users or my customers into different tiers and give them different types of access. For example, if I have a group of customers who pay me premiums every month, I will want to allow them to have more requests per minute. And then on the other hand, I have a basic plan which is free for people to try out the service before they subscribe to it. So I want them to have less requests per minute to my API. So this way I can set up my API to serve my customers in different tiers. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so right now I'm on the AWS console. What I have here is I just have an API that has two methods. One is a post and then the other one is get. And I only have one stage, which is prod. And right now I just have it set up to return some dummy data and it's currently open to the world. So let's test it out first using Postman. So let me copy this link. Go to Postman, paste it here, and it is sent. I got some dummy data here, and then the post method. Do post. I just give it a body. And then he's sent. He's successful. And obviously we don't want our API to be open to the whole world in our application. And right now I'm gonna show you how to restrict the access to it. So I go back to the AWS console. I'll go back to resources. Click on the method. Method request. And then under API key required, I'll change that to true. Hit the check mark. And then make sure that I do that for all the methods. I want to restrict access. Hit the check mark. And then make sure that I deployed the API. And we only have one environment. I think this is going to take about 30 seconds to become effective. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back. All right, so it's been about one minute. So right now, let's go back to Postman and hit the same method. It's going to say forbidden. And I think the same thing is going to happen to the get method. And yes. And right now, let's enable the access to some of the customers. And we're going to do that using the API keys. So click on API keys. Action, create API key, give it a name. I just do customer one. I'll just let it auto generate a key for me. And this is the API key that was auto generated and we're gonna give that to the customer to use. But before we do that, we need to do one more thing. So let's go back to APIs. Select the API that we want to restrict access to. And then usage plans, hit create. I just call it premium plan. Let's do 1,500. You can customize it the way you want it. Quota, let's do, I just do 1 million. And then hit next. And then I'll add API stage. I choose our API and the prod stage, click the check mark, hit next, and then add the customer one API key that we just created. It's this one, hit the check mark, and then hit done. All right, so this is done. I think it's gonna take about 30 seconds as well. So I'm gonna pause the video and then come back. All right, so it's been about one minute. So right now, if I go to API keys, click on customer one, and then copy this key, 
go back to postman now the method is still forbidden but if I go to headers add another header call x api key and then paste the key that we just copied and then hit send again and now we have access to it again and the same thing is going to work for the post method hit send and there you go it works and this is it everyone i hope you have learned something and if you like this video i hope you can give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video